Please came. Wait a second. I get the look. Had no idea that people were going to take a video and say that I'm for legalizing, uh, you know, game fighting or game cock fighting that was banned in Oklahoma in early 2000s. So again, it's just people, you know, people that don't like me want to try to bring something up and, and that kind of stuff. Of course, I'm not for legalizing game uh, cock fighting in the state of Oklahoma. <laughs> White legs, that's one reason you can tell a hatch from a kelp. It's really important. Just to keep. It was legal the whole time I was growing up, and it went from, from legal to felony. Ten year prison sentence. That's how they compete over there. In Puerto like I said, this is rooster country. I mean, Everybody you talk to down here, either their grandpa had roosters, their dad, their uncle, their cousin. I mean, the feed stores, the hotels, I mean, millions of dollars have been lost. This would be good living for a rooster right here. Yeah. He's a king. And then uh, they take the extra eggs and they sell them. We're here to represent the rural Oklahomans and, and their liberties and their rights and their freedoms. And I think it's absolute common sense. I mean, we have fentanyl, which is a misdemeanor, and it killed 10,000 people in Oklahoma every year. And I think death by roosters is zero. And just overall health. I believe our governor understands rural Oklahomans and, and their rural needs and, and desires. Well, it's a combination of politics and money. Uh, looking back historically, uh, some of the counties, uh, a good number of them, voted no on uh, banning cockfighting, and some of them by very wide margins. So for local politicians, it's, it's a pretty easy call when 60, 70, 80 percent of their county voted no on the issue uh, to soft pedal it and not treat it like a serious crime. A million dollars last year trying to kill us on the house floor. They spent 1.7 million here. I plant ryegrass every year so they have green grass year round over there. You know, I had a rooster just passed away last week, was 10 years old. You know, uh, they have a lot better life living here than they're gonna have at Tyson, you know, poultry farm. Boys, he actually went to Wall Street, I believe. Then the Kelsos or the next, these guys, these are guys right here that come up from Tyler, Texas. In the meantime, you gotta protect them from the weather and the varmints and everything else because everything likes to eat chickens you know <laughs>